360 dodging. Oh! Okay. I messed around too much. Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Henry David Thoreau. Hello there, and welcome to my new place. Oh, oh my glorious place. Sorry it took so long to record and upload, but uh, I had to organize some things, take care of business, and, uh, and settle in, of course. But uh, things aren't so bad. And I actually like this new setup. It's a lot roomier and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm not going to be uploading as much because I have plans for the channel. Every Friday and Saturday I have a little something special for the channel. So hopefully you'll be looking forward to that. And yeah. Anyways. How have you guys been? I hope you have been really well. I've been super tired but I think I'm back. I'm back baby. Alright. Last time we uh... Got to the dairy farm. Looks like we're going to be trading some fuel for some food. That seems like a good trade. And these guys seem like good guys. Uh, we just seem to have to deal with these bandits. So we'll see what happens next, yeah? Alright, let's get going. Episode 2. There's uh, Lily, I think. Lily, Kenny, Lee. Alright, I, I start to remember these names pretty well. I'm... Not really sure about the other people's names. I know there's Duck and um, Clementine, of course. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. That's what her parents are singing. But uh, anyways, there we are. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. It's a nice place. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Nice. I'm going to assume that's a lot. It's the amp. No. It's the amps that kill you, not the volts. But whatever. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. <laughs> they got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh... We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! <laughs> Maybe our whole group could come oh, for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Mm, this seems too good why to be I true, Why don't I head back guys. with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. 
Just kidding. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, <laughs> that this fence might turn out to be a place makes we can stay. Rock hard. So how do you want to play this? Mm. We should do whatever we can to help out. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. Mm -hmm. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Hmm. I still have my axe. Oh, something over there. I'll look at the swing later. That should be so good what's for Clementine. Your on so far, think they'd be open to letting us stay? Hmm. Getting the perimeter secured is going to help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm going to get back to win-win situation. Alrighty, is there anything else? No, let's go look at this swing. Man, this place is too nice. I, uh, I already know something bad's gonna happen, but enjoy it while it lasts. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try and fix it? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Yeah. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Uh, yeah, but we need to secure the perimeter, too. And let's do that. Anything over here? Anything interesting? We're gonna moonwalk our way over. Nope, nothing. Oh, look at that slow motion animation style. Oh, yeah. Lee's a dancer. He was a dancer before this. He double majored. Um, let's see. Oh. Let's, before we go to the house, yeah, let's look around. I see it. Look it. There we go. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. What is that supposed to mean? Is that a bad thing? I think it's pretty cool. I don't think I have anything left to say to you. Let's see here. Look at the picket fence. It's a cute little picket fence, but it's not going to keep zombies out. Pointy. That's not pointy. You crazy. Alright. Hi. Hello. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Mm-hmm. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. And trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay mm -hmm. attentive. You never know. All right, this is where the trouble is going to happen. I just know it. Bum, 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 bum.
Ah oh, man, the artwork is so beautiful. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Ah, oh, there's one. Get that arrow. Ugh. Be careful. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> Who do you think he was? I don't know. Disgusting. An arrow would be useful. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Dude, what? It's useless without gas. That's what I... Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. And not many drivers these days, Lee. We could vividness. scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. Really? So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. Wait, it's not like doubt. <laughs> Maybe you're right. It's more like realism. There's you don't want to one. depend on it. I see it. You always just want a backup plan, that's all. I mean, I'd love to keep this place for as long as it can go, you know? But, yeah. Oh, that's kind of sad. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Oh. You never get used to the smell, do you? I don't get used <laughs> to the look. Nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. <laughs> Thanks guy. for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Focus Just on try it. to focus on the task. <laughs> they knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Hell yeah. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> yeah, but... The fence is gonna turn on. No, get back over here. No. Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! Oh, wait. You, you, you need to be careful. We need to be careful. Alright, keep 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 Is there no Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! Oh What the It's the bandit Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had to bring it! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Where's our food, you asshole? You asshole! I lure me out. That would be too easy. Now we're gonna take what's no. Uh. Get out of the open. Behind the tractor. Damn it. What's that option over here? The blades are stuck in the dirt. What about our arrangement? 
Man, you're looking at the wrong guy. Alright, let's try this again. Did you really think you can fuck with us? Damn it. Don't think I can't no fuel. Give us the clues. Get closer. Oh, there we go. Come on. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, shit. Oh god. Three hundred and sixty dodging. Oh. Okay. I messed around too much. No more messing around. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. We reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! The gate using the tracker. Cover. Bum 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 bum. I was hiding behind the big ass wheel last time. Oh. Oh god. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Come on. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? I hope it's not like ten. He's gonna boom! Scared me. I knew it was coming though. Eventually. Give it food! my hands! I don't know if you You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's oh, right there. God. Oh god. Am I supposed to do something here? Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out, kitties. <laughs> what? They're gonna come into that fence. Uh oh. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, there was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Bandit Holy shit! On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn! We're gonna have to push it all the way through and break the head off. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are <laughs> you gonna be okay? Obvious. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey! Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. You can't pull it out. Not an arrow. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. <sighs> so much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. Damn. You know where these assholes are? They got me real to fast. Pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Wow. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. We just need to calm what down. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool Whoa. your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's yeah. not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I agree with him. I'm gonna him. head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's 
real charming dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben <laughs> ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay, well, at least she has a gun. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Oh, nice. Hope kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Cool. I should have found her hat. Alright. Well, that looks like this is going to be the end of this episode. So, we'll continue next time. Thank you guys for joining me. And uh, take care of yourselves. Peace, peace, peace.